So I was doing a little gunsmithing yesterday. So I took a Dremel and I started making that cutout and the arbor lock has stripped and the little tab that goes in the arbor lock, it's a little pin, it stripped as well. It's soft enough steel that look, I've filed on this and even my pliers cut it. This tool is a piece of junk. I had to take it apart uh, in order to slice this and jerry-rig it enough that I can still use the tool because nobody keeps their receipts. I can't return this thing. Their connections in here are literally just a little uh, press-in uh, piece of brass tab that locks on a soldered end of wire. It's not even a real McCoy connection. It made me sick what I paid for it, for it to be such a piece of junk. <laughs> And, uh, I mean, it works. It has a good motor, but everything else around it is junk. Why they didn't harden this steel part right here and uh, why they didn't harden that little arbor lock peg, uh, I can't even I can't even understand what they were going for there. And so I had to grind this down to get enough room on the arbor to get pliers on. And uh, now, we've got, now we've got a competition gun that I can swap my fire control modules... Uh, and get a safety on it so that way I can I can have a thumb safety a manual safety on my competition gun But here it says warranted against defective material or working workmanship Well, that's defective material. It's not hardened the arbor extension That has the arbor lock and also the pin not hardened but you can't return the product to the place of purchase. That's the place that actually remembers my face and knows that I buy these things and don't steal them. But they want the product with a copy of your proof of purchase. I don't keep a receipt of everything. Like, <laughs> I don't keep a receipt of everything that I've ever bought. I'm not going to return this thing. I'm going to use it for years and years until it's done. Uh, it's just, it's unfortunate. Everything about this just makes me sad. So that's a bummer. Uh, we got through it, but man, guys, if you can help it, do not buy a Dremel tool. Uh, I know they used to be the name brand, but this is hot junk. Uh, find a better brand for a rotary for a rotary cutting tool.